Shots, the Challenging Challenge, Challenge. Jade Phoenix Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Mystery Gift Showcase. In the last episode, we showed you Arceus and Shiny Xerneas was also... Well, no, Arceus was the last episode, the episode before that was Shiny Xerneas. But in the month of September, there are actually quite a few Mystery Gifts for me to go through. So this is going to be an interesting one because there's quite a few of them here, so... I know if I want to do like three episodes and then show you guys all three Pokemon, or if I want to do one big episode and then show you all three Pokemon. You know what? I'm going to do the one big episode with all three Pokemon, and then we'll just continue on afterwards. So let's see what we've got. So. Really? Well, I never want to leave the Pokemon Center, but you're still going to play this. Because I love the birthday theme music for uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm never going to... Uh, uh, sorry, not Sun and Moon. I love the Pokemon Center birthday music. And if you're going to keep on playing this, I'm not going to leave the Pokemon Center. Because I love this music. <laughs> I'm going to actually leave the Pokemon Center eventually. But, you know, I still love this music. Anyway. Hey. First thing we have to do is uh, go and get our Pokemon. Uh, well, because I've already uh, uh, entered the codes and released them, so this first one should be the Happy Hour Meowth. So if you want to get this, all you got to do is go in, you've got to be either in Europe or Australia. And uh, if you uh, go to Mystery Gift and then enter by code and then enter the code HAPPY. That's all you got to do. Enter the word HAPPY and you get this. If you're in America, this won't work. But yeah, there you go. Good day, you must be JPM. I've got a mystery gift with your name on it. Here you are. We received Meowth. We look forward to speaking to you again. So, let's take a look at today's first mystery gift. We have Meowth with Happy Hour, Screech, Bite, and Fake Out. So, that is Happy Hour Meowth. Pick up. It can pick up items. Uh, you could possibly soft reset for uh, uh, nature's IVs and shininess. I don't know uh, exactly if you could be able to do this by this way, but uh, if you options always available if you wanted it. So there you go. Happy hour meowth is a thing. Uh, I guess we can go and see this in battle. Uh, so I'm going to toot my flute. I don't know exactly where I'm, I'm going to go to find uh, where I can put this in battle, but I'll see. Because I can't really face like anything too high leveled. Because I know it can't take them down, so... I guess we'll have to go into like a wild encounter battle, really. Let's go... Route 110. Let's go Route 110. Because we can't do trainer battles, but we can do wild encounters, so let's go Route 110. Uh, so, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, Happy Hour will double the amount of money that you have one in game time hour. So if you face a poke if you face a trainer. And you have, and you use the move Happy Hour. You can get, uh, you can get something from that, and that's awesome. So let's go face a wild encounter here. Um, in my own time, I am gonna. Uh, do I have a repel on or something like that? Because I probably should like. I want to run into an encounter. I do have a repel on. That's why. Okay. So here's a electric, and here's Happy Hour Meowth. Now, Happy Hour is a move that Meowth can't normally learn, so that's something that you could keep it on so it becomes a Persian. So let's see what Happy Hour looks like, because it's an event move. You don't get to see this that often. So that is happy hour. And then, I guess we could try and kill this. Uh, oh, because it's not the first move of the battle. I can't use fake out. Damn, I can only use bite now, that means. Okay, fine. 
Let's see if Meowth can kill this Electric. I like how Meowth does a little jump before it bites something. I've never seen that before. I don't usually, I'm not a big, I don't use Meowth that often, so you know, I don't really see that. That's really cool though. He does a little jump before he bites. That's interesting. Anyway, there we go. That is Happy Hour Meowth in battle. Let's go and try to train a battle so we can try this again. But first off, I need to heal that paralysis because otherwise I will probably not get to go first. I also might not be able to survive a move, but we'll see. You. You look like a trainer I can face again. Aye, have you caught any new Pokemon? Can I see your Pokemon? Just one look, please. You're incredibly creepy. Please go away. <laughs> Collector Edwin with your Ludi Colo. Here's Happy Hour Meowth for you. Okay. So, let's see if I can get this in. You're level 49. I'm scared. Oh, you're using Growl. I can get in Happy Hour. Cool. Okay. So now I got in happy hour. I could probably switch out. Um, let's go into Dodria. Yeah, let's go into Dodria. This is my shiny hunting team, by the way. So these are the Pokemon I use for shiny hunting every Saturday night for shiny uh, for shiny hunts. So that's why I've got this team right now. Uh, let's brave bird. But no, it's fly. Fly. Fly's burn blade, bird. Because it doesn't have recall. So there we go. Happy Hour Meowth is coming through. Happy Hour Meowth gets 22. Wants to learn Faint Attack. You know what? You can learn Faint Attack over Scratch. I know I'm not, sorry, I'm not trying to learn moves or show that off, but, but, but we'll see. And a shift tree. I could say another shift tree. I mean, I don't really care anymore. I've shown you happy hour Meowth in battle, so... Let's return. There we go. And we defeated Collector Edwin. So that is happy hour Meowth. And... As we always do... Let's see Happy Hour Meowth in Pokemon and Me. Because I don't think I've seen Poke uh, Meowth in Pokemon and Me yet. So let's take a look at this. So that's Meowth in Pokemon and Me. It looks really cute, actually. Sort of wish it had its anime cry. Because then you'd say... Uh, then it would be like Team Rocket's Meowth. Oh, that's really cute. I like I like Happy Hour Meowth. It's it really interesting Pokemon. If there you go, so Happy Hour Meowth is a thing. So let me know what you think of it. It's actually a really cool one. I'm not a big fan of Meowth sometimes, but uh, definitely looking into. Uh, Happy Hour Meowth being really a thing, so it's a move you can't normally learn, so why not? So that is Happy Hour Meowth. That is the first of our Mystery Guest Showcase for today, for the month of September. So let's go and get the second of our Mystery Guest Showcase for the month of September. And we can also heal up Happy Hour Meowth. Yeah, Pokemon Center, so let's go do that. Let's transfer onto my bike. And Marvel should be here, so there we go. I can run into Marvel. I can run to the Poke I can bike to the Pokemon Center. And we can go and see what we can else get here. So for the month of September. Uh, well, actually, from uh until tomorrow. Uh, this video should be going out on the 5th, 
Uh, I don't actually know when this video goes out, but the closing date for uh, this next one is the 15th. So if you don't have it, then sadly you can't get it. But uh, I did want to show this off. So here we go. Shiny Feltor time. So here it is. Shiny Feltor. So Dark Aura. Uh, Oblivion Ring, Sucker Punch, Dark Pulse, and Foul Play. So that's really cool. Uh, you might, you could probably soft reset for nature and uh, IVs if you wanted to. Uh, you can't soft reset for shininess because it is shiny. So it's awesome. And this is the only way you can get shiny uh, Veltor. It's shiny locked each and every other way. So that's really cool. So. I really like it. Shiny Aveltor. I'm a huge fan of Aveltor. So I'm really happy that we have a Shiny Aveltor in the team now. Let's go and see Shiny Aveltor in battle. Um, I think we have double smash around here, so... Yeah, let's go and do it. Let's go and do this double smash. There's a, I think there's a double match with a Laron... Uh, with a... A Leron and of course a uh, a Hiriyama. So you know the evolved form of Zigzagoon and a Hiriyama. So let's go and see that. You, you too. This will be the, this would be the time when my my teammates and I will defeat you. Okay, you can try. Teammates Anna and Mech. Lanoon, oh Lanoon, there you go, Lanoon and Hiriyama, and I'm going to set out a Veltor and Happy Hour Meowth. So, we have Shiny of Veltor with Dark Aura, and I'm going to Oblivion Wing the Hiriyama. And on your turn, I'm going to try and fake out the noon. So it does little damage, but it's enough to do something. And down goes the Hiriyama. Awesome. And Meowth gets level 23. And 24. Right. Um. I'm going to try and do Sucker Punch. It might not work. And now I can use Happy Hour. Happy Hour again. Oh, it does work. There we go. That's fine. I don't need. I think I get the money anyway for the thing. It's like one in-game hour, so I don't need to learn taunt. So if you want that money, money happy is a uh, happy hour. Be alpha is the way to go to get that money, money. And of course, let's see what Shiny Veltor looks like in Pokemon Me. There it is, Shiny Aveltor in Pokemon and Me. Looks really good, doesn't it? Well, I mean, you can't really see too much of it, sadly, because of how it, uh, how it is. But it looks okay. I mean, you could rub its legs. And it likes that, so that's cool. And, of course, if I feed it a pop in, it really likes those. So that is ha that is Shiny Aveltor. So there you go. The god of the legendary Pokemon of death is here. Aveltor. 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 So there he goes. It listens to my it listens to me saying stuff. So there you go. Shiny Aveltor. Aveltor. 
Uh, you can get this from Smith Toy Superstores. I only got one this time because apparently it's one per customer. So, yeah. That's an annoying thing because I wanted to get one for my brother as well. He's a little bit into Pokemon. Not too much into Pokemon, but a little bit into Pokemon. I wanted to get him one as well, but sadly it's only one per customer. So, sadly I couldn't do that. And I didn't want to go to make two trips down to Smith's just so I could do that. I don't really feel like doing that. It's not, that's not fun. It's, Smith's is so far. Uh, Smith's Toy Superstore is so far away from where I live, so I don't really want to make it an actual spec. I have to make it like a journey to actually do it, so I don't want to do that. But anyway, that is Shiny Aveltor. So, let me put a Pokemon in the box. Let me put a cool tent in the box. And let me grab our third Mystery Gift Showcase. So, this is the Mystery Gift Showcase for the month of September, the mythical Pokemon. This should be Victini. Victini is available by just collect uh, by connecting to the internet and using Get by Internet. You don't have you don't need a code. You don't need to go into any specialist shop. You just connect to your Wi-Fi like normal, and you get a Victini from the mythical collection for this month. So that's really cool. So let's go and get it. Good day, you must be JPM. I got a mystery gift for your name on it. Here you are, Victini. So let's take a look at Victini. So Victini, a uh, victory star for its ability and an ability that only Vic uh, Victini can get. It has Incinerate, quick attack, indoor, and confusion. The worst move set you can get for a Victini. Come on, where's Victini's specialist moves? Where's Volt? Where's Bolt Strike and? Uh, Fusion, uh, Fusion Flare. Where's V? Where's V Wave? Come on, I wanted V Wave. I wanted to try. I wanted to try out Victini's signature moves that it gets, but it can only get those moves by events. I was hoping the Victini event would actually give me these moves, because Victini's signature moves make Victini amazing. But without those signature moves, Victini's just Victini. It's not really an amazing Pokemon without those signature moves. And that it can get via events. That's the way. I, that's the way I was talking about it in uh, Black and White when I was in the Pokemon Black LP, and it's the exact same way I talk about it here, because it's the same thing. It doesn't get those amazing moves without. Uh, it doesn't get those amazing moves without the events. So Victini, not great, but I guess I can show this off in battle. Uh, Victini should be available to uh, soft reset for Eevees and Ivies and uh, shiny hunting. So if you want to do that, you can. Mine's a brave nature, which is cool. Uh, what's Happy Hour Meowth? Happy Hour Meowth is impish and Shiny Aveltor is mild. Okay, so that is Shiny Victini. So, and well, not Shiny Victini, that's just Victini. So let's go to this route here. I think there's another room. You know what? There's an aroma lady I can use as a battle. So let's go and face her. Yes, we can show off confusion and uh, incinerate in this battle. You. Were you drawn here by this sweet aroma? Let's see. Let's see if I was drawn here by the sweet aroma. Aroma Lady Rose and her Blossom. I love Blossom. I'm a huge fan of Blossom. You don't get to see it that much on teams, but I love Blossom. I'm much more of a fan of Blossom than I am Vileplume, actually, to tell the truth. Anyway, so, there is our Victini, and I'm going to use Incinerate. Incinerate can burn berries, so that's interesting as well. So if someone's got a berry, you can get rid of it that way. Sunflora. This is the absolute worst Musa I've seen on a Victini, but it still does the work in a Rose Raid. Yeah, it still does the work, so it's not great, but it's okay. Can I kill you quick attack? 
I can kill you with quick attack. I wasn't expecting to be able to kill you with quick attack. Let's see these other two moves in battle whilst we have the chance though. So, guitarist Dayton will be show I will show off uh, these moves too. So, here's Shiny Victini again. Uh, well, here's normal Victini, not Shiny. I need to stop saying it's Shiny because it's not. There's Endor. So, you've now learned Endor. Okay, fine. Let's see if you use it. Nope, you're not you're not smart enough to use it. Down goes Victi down goes Shatot. And now let's bring in Shiny Aveltor. Because we haven't seen Aveltor in a singles match yet. So let's uh, let's dark pulse. There we go. And finally a Magnazone. Let's bring in Happy Hour Meowth. And let's see if we can get off a happy hour and possibly a fake out. Before we end up killing ourselves. So let's go for the fake out. Cool. Flinched and couldn't move. Let's uh, go for a happy hour. Can we get off a happy hour? No, we can't get off a happy hour. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let's go back into Victini. And let's go for an incinerate. There we go. That is Guitarist Dayton down. Okay, let's go and let's go and uh, get onto our bike, and let's go and uh, heal up, and then I can go and show you Victini in Pokemon and Me, and end off this episode because that is all three of our mystery gifts for the month of September. And then in October, Keldeo is here. So Keldeo, I'll be able to show you Keldeo normal form. And I've also, I also know how to do it. Because in Marvel City, there's a person who teaches the move. I think it's, wait, no, I know where he, I think he, I know where he is. That's, that's not important right now. Damn it, why did I do that? Why did I go into my versus seeker? I don't know. I think it's a cafe uh, somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's this cafe here, and it's this guy down, right down here. No, 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 it's not this guy. Okay. Is it this guy? I work for the Move Academy in the city. There's a thing. Is The thing is, we students right now. And that's we're stu we have no students right now, and that's why I'm drinking a lot of fresh water here. Oh, if only I could. I'd love to teach a move to Keldeo or Melawella. So this guy will give me Sacred Sword, Keldeo's special move, and of course Melawella's special move, which is you know special uh, Relic Song. So I can switch forms of Melawetta and of course. Keldeo and uh, Melaware and Keldeo are coming out, so uh, I think. Well, I think Keldeo. I know Keldeo is coming out. I know Genesect's coming out in December, and I think Melaware is November, so those are our next moves. So that would be pretty cool. And in November, Vi uh, Volcarona is coming out too, so uh, Volcanion's coming out, so that would be cool too. And in December, I think I know where you get the uh, plate, uh, the uh, the discs from for. Uh, uh, for Volcanion. I'm not sure. I don't know where you get them in Auras. I know you get them in X and Y, but I don't know where you get them in Auras. I'm going to have to find out. But, yeah. That's for Genesect. Anyway, it's not important right now.
What's important right now is to show you guys Victini. So here is Victini in uh, Pokemon and Me. It looks really cute actually in Pokemon and Me. Really like it in Pokemon and Me. So there you go, Victini in Pokemon and Me. I really love Victini. I'm a huge fan of it, but the fact is. Victini's good moves are only available via events, and I was sort of hoping that they'd give us Victini's good moves, but they didn't. They gave us Victini, and they gave us really bad moves for Victini. But yeah, that is Victini for you guys in Pokemon and me, and that is Mystery Guest Showcase for the month of September. We showed you Happy Hour Meowth, Shine. Uh, Nia Veltor and Victini. So if you enjoyed, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm JSPH Games, and for me and Victini, we will see you in October for Keldio. Good night.